Hirngespinst, the title I came to it because in the exhibition I kind of wanted to go back into my mind, into the fantasy world, dream world. And when you spin around in, in your head, or in this case in the artist's head, Hirngespinst was just like a short word I found describes this. You were talking about how this painting, Hirngespinst, contains elements from all the other paintings. Yes on this painting are creators and these creators create all the other paintings. And there's also this red, uh, in German it's roter faden. The red thread. The red thread. So they are holding the show together and they are bringing all the elements of the show together. In some paintings it's autobiographic elements, for example my operation and the transition. But most of it, like 80% of the show is imagination and just fantasy and also scary dreams. It's also about angst because when it's too much what is going on outside in this world, I decided I go back into my mind. So this painting, Troima, is kind of halfway between dream and reality. Yeah. These creatures are slyly creeping up on... Is that you? Yeah. Is that you yeah. on the bed? This is kind of like a self-portrait, them lying on the bed, looking up and just spinning around about what will come maybe in further paintings in the future. Uh, yeah, lying there. Waiting. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but this, this painting also explains how my mind works because actually I, I do that a lot. I, I lie around my bed or on the couch and I can never, I can never stop, you know. I always think about painting, so it describes my life. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk around the show, these figures kind of follow your gaze and it's almost as if they're questioning your presence in the room. Yeah, the figures, the characters in the paintings, they always feel like what I look like, they feel like they are watched. In these paintings were more intimate, like one is a sleeping room, one is a bathroom, but it's a private room. Of course, when you step in, you feel watched. <laughs> so they look like we just caught them in a situation. All my characters are mostly they are not looking like the norm. I mean, what is the norm? The norm is also changing. Mostly they are kind of queer or you don't know what gender they have or who they exactly are. And there's always animals as well and yeah. monsters. It's just our, our monsters, what we have inside of us. So it's always a mix. It could be like your second alter ego, it can be that the inner child. It, it could be the society we live in. The persons in the painting, they are probably also afraid of the world outside. In my work, it's not that clear meaning for something or not that clear story, because I like that people can have their own thoughts to my work, their own, own fantasies, and they can have their own inner about what's happening there. <laughs>